To access the preset editor in Nexia, select Presets, Create Edit Recall. The preset editor can be used to create new presets by clicking on New. We can give that preset a name and then click Save. It's important to remember there's a little flyout tab down here that's hidden. If we click on the tab, we'll see a list of all of our presets. When I created that preset, I created it with everything in the entire device. So I save the current value of every object, every control in the entire device. If I wanted to go back through, make a bunch of volume changes, I could then create a new configuration and give that a different name. When I hit save, that would appear in the list. By simply toggling back and forth between these two presets, I can change every setting in the device. In most cases, we probably don't want to change everything in the device. So let's start over, and this time when we hit New, the first thing we're going to do is remove all of the objects from the selected DSP blocks area and then we'll add back in just the things we want to control. In this case, let's control just the final mixer in our design. If I click on that mixer and look on the Properties sheet, I'll see that its name is Mixer1. If I look through my available DSP blocks until I find Mixer1, I can select it, hit Add Selected, and it's placed in the Selected DSP Blocks field. I can give that a name, and then save it. And I've created a preset that only changes the mixer and nothing else. If I want to create another preset for that mixer, I can create a new one and I can remove all of those objects, scroll down, find it, add it to the list. Then I need to make the changes give it a name, and hit Save. Now, when I double click on that preset in my list, I'll go to the Mixer Default, back to the teleconference. If I decide that this teleconference actually should have had one more change, I can make that change and then hit Save. And now, Mixer Default is still the way it was. Teleconference has that change in it. Let's reset everything and start over one more time. This time, we're going to create presets, which contain the Auto Mixer, which is named Mixer 2 and the source selector, which is named Router1. When I create a new preset, the first thing I want to do is remove everything, then scroll down and find Mixer2 and Router1. And I can add those to my selected DSP blocks. If everything is set up the way I want it, I can go ahead, give it a name, and hit Save. Then I can change those settings. I can give it a name and do a Save As. Rather than starting with a new preset, and having to find these objects again, I can do a Save As. It's important to note, though, when I do a Save As, that name change never actually sticks. After doing the Save As, I have to go back, change the name, and then do another Save to get the name to stick. Now I can double-click. You'll see the changes on the right. Double-click again. It goes right back.